Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on Ravenport. We are going to carry straight on from where we left off in the last episode, so let's get to it. Now, the way that the game renders things is you see all of the stuff that is drawn. We've got the water that's moving there, you've got the trees that are drawn. They're only drawn on the bit that I'm looking at, right? So behind me over here... All of those trees, all of the, the placeables and everything, they're not actually, they don't actually exist at the moment. So everything behind me doesn't exist. And then you move back round like this and it draws it all back in. And there's a very easy way to actually prove it because it does it really fast with the trees and everything. And you run, unless you've got a very slow computer, you're unlikely to see it being drawn back in as you spin round. But you can see it with the waterfall, okay? Now, if I go like that, and then I spin back round. Yeah? There. See the waterfall there? It's stopping, and then it's redrawing it. It's because it's not actually rendering that waterfall in at all. Not while I'm not looking at it. I just go to there, and it's rendering that in. Uh, if I move to there, and then go back, it's still in. Move over this far, and it stopped, right? So literally just around there, and you can see the waterfall stops. The water disappears, right? That's, that's an animation. And the same with the trees. They would all disappear as well, but you don't see them being drawn back in. You do with the water because of the way that it flows. And I just thought that was like a, an in interesting fact. Um, I didn't actually know that this happened. I, I, I sort of knew a bit about it, but I didn't really look at it that much to pay attention to it previously. Um, so for those of you who aren't in the know, that's how it works. So at the moment, everything behind me, all of those trees, all of that grass, everything, none of it is actually drawn in. It's just empty landscape. And then when I turn round, it will put it all back again. Which is a really cool little fact, I think. I, I actually really, really like that. It's, uh, it's one of those things that I find quite fascinating. And... Um, at the same time, many people wouldn't be interested in the slightest. I know some. I know that some of you will be, and some of you won't really care either way. And many of you will probably already know all about it. Now, where am I going to go and park? I'm going to go and park this one here. I'm going to go and put it over this way somewhere, because we're not going to be using this case for a while. So I'm just going to park it up under the in in the shade over here. We will park that one. Now. I'm going to leave the twin wheels on it, as I like the twin wheels, and. I was just wondering if I... Sh and did you see that there? Right, I go down there, and there's the water just generating itself over in the distance. Right, we'll come up here, and we'll get to this one. And we're going to start fast-forwarding time now. We've done everything that we want to do for a minute. That is ticking away down there. So I'll start this bad boy up, and we'll start dumping in some more of the silage. So I can just do that, like that, and... Going to tip in quite a lot. What I'll do is I'll fill up as much as I can there. Because I'm fast-forwarding time while I'm tipping. It's actually tipping in quite a lot. We've got 38,000 litres left. That means we've put in easily a full trailer load. That's already down to 34,000. It's gone down to 30,000 at the moment. We'll get it to 25 and then we'll start tipping again. 26 and 24, 800. Right, so we start tipping again and we'll dump all of these out. I suspect we'll get the entire trailer load out. Almost. Yes, we will, easily. Right, so that's all. Okay. I got that wrong. We had 480 litres left in. So there's all of that lot tipped out now. And it's already down to 35,000 litres. We won't be starting the harvest until tomorrow, so we're likely to get some bonuses out of this. Let me just slow that down again like that. And this time, before I bring that one up, I'm going to move the roper, our mouse, over here. So we want to switch that one over that way. Like that. There. Bring you back. And then, if you have a look now, the seat is facing the wrong way. And there is... A, uh, left control I, control group, how do you change a control group? 
Oh, you press G. You just you just press uh, select tool. Um, so control group right here. That's the the middle drum right there. We can move that one up and down. And I don't think there's anything else on that control group. And then you got control group one. Right, there isn't any more. So how do I move my seat around? I got that one over there. And the seat does not appear to be moving. That seems odd. I thought that the seat would actually move round. I know that it, it, it sort of does something when you unfold it. But I I genuinely thought that the seat would move to a different location. It doesn't seem to. Right, it seems that the seat is locked in that position. I'll bring that back over here. And we'll go about... We'll go somewhere like this. We'll probably go a little bit further out from the wall, but I'm not going to. And I will fold that all the way back over there to start with. Jump out. Run back round over this way. And go, let's, let's get rid of that. And then over and we'll put this one in underneath. So we are down to... How many litres did we have left now? 917,000 litres. So we, we've still got a fair bit. Put that one there. And then out we go. We climb back in here and start that one up. There, like that. And start overloading silage as well. It definitely does take a while to do the overloading of silage. I mean, we are getting through it, but we've got to remember that it's still a good 10 loads left on this one before we actually get all the way through all of the silage. So I'm thinking that maybe we ought to seriously consider getting something that's going to go just a little bit faster than this base game one. And I have an idea in mind. I have mentioned it previously, this, this little idea, and I don't think that there's any strong resistance to the idea of using it. So as soon as I have loaded up this trailer, we will go and we will swap this one over. Actually, you know what? I'm going to swap it over now. I'm going to back this one out like this. Yeah, like that. And we'll let all the silage that's on it unload. Right the way out through. Because it does hold quite a bit. Yeah, is that everything? Right. That's everything. We put all of that out. I'm going to fold it up. So there we go. It it does fold everything up. It takes a little while to fold up, but it will fold everything up from no matter what position it's in when you're using it. That one will come down, and then it will fold up those front bits as well and tuck them in behind. And then the seat, that one comes around as well. Like that. Now, if we go in cab and we do this, it does actually give you a good animation as you're coming round with the seat. Which is quite cool. I like that. I like the fact that it does actually start to lift you up and lift the cab and move the cab and everything as you, you're going round. There we go. We slide on down through there like that. And now I'm just going to jump out and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to return that one just as it is. So I want to go to garage and I want to go to least items and we'll go to the roper and I want to return it. Yes. Hokey Cokey, and then we want to go back to here, and we want to go to Miscellaneous in there, and I want to go to you. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no! I thought I had one. I was sure I had one somewhere, a, a Stevie one. It was a whole lot faster and a whole lot better. I'm sh... Oh, what? Oh, oh! hang on one minute. Oh, I see. I see what he's done. He's taken this one and he's... I knew that there was one. I, I definitely seen one somewhere. It's this one here. He's had this one and he, he changed it up a bit. So we've actually got the sugar beet overloader here rather than the, um, the, the mouse. This is a mouse. It's a different one. This is the, this is the mouse five. Whereas the other one is... Actually, what is the other one called? Nawaro Mouse is a little bit different to the one in here. It's pretty much the same thing. It's just that this one here is, well, slightly different. It's, it's the same but different. 
Right, okay, fine. That's 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 what we want. So we can change the color if we if we want to. We can alter the color, but I'm not going to this time. I'm just going to leave the color as it is. So we will go there and we will lease that one for sixteen thousand dollars. Now that's the price that we're paying for one that is going to shovel silage a whole lot faster than we've previously had silage being shoveled. So we'll start driving you up the road. The other good thing with this one is that it does run faster than the original. It's got a faster road speed. It does 39 miles an hour up the road instead of the original one, which was... I can't remember. It was definitely slower, though. It takes a while to build up the speed. It does take a little while to build up the speed, but overall, this is still pretty good. So let's jump into cab minute and have a look at what this is like in here. Ticking along at a lovely speed like this. It's not that impressive. Got to be said. All right, I'll get over to the biogas and we can start unloading a bit more silage. He goes a bit faster now that he's on flat ground. It's hills that he didn't seem to like, but those a bit bouncy coming around the corners. Let's slow up there a bit. Around we go. And right, so let's unfold this bad boy and see what it's got. The main unloading belt seems to be on a different side. Is it going to be faster? That's one big question that we've got to start with, is how much faster is this thing going to be than the other one that we were using? Seems like it might be all right. We definitely want to lift that up a bit like that. And also, how wide is the pickup going to be? Because we know that the pickup on the other one was a fair bit wider than the machine itself, although this machine has got a just... In general, this, this machine does have a wider pickup. So that's going to make a difference. Let's start you up. Like that. And lower the front down like that. I want to move that back over there. It seems we've got a slightly longer reach on it as well. I don't know if that's just me or if it does actually have a longer reach on it. But there's the silage ready to go. And we start unloading and then... Right, that is definitely it's going faster, but it doesn't have as much of a forward reach as the last one did. Right, the forward reach is definitely lower than it did previously, but it's, it's, um, it sort of compensates for that by uh, going faster. There's definitely a faster throughput on it. Start you up. Didn't realize that you were still engine stopped, so we'll bring that one back over this way. There's our shunter, and... Like, it seems like the suspension has taken a bit of a hammering on this one because it's definitely a bit rock and roll in that cab as you're moving around on the, on the corners. I mean, I know that lorries tend to do that a bit anyway, or at least the cab overs do that we drive in Europe. I don't know about what, I don't know what the ones are like in the States, but our cab over jobs in Europe, they're definitely a bit rock and roll like that at times. Um... Right, that's ticking down. I'm going to wait until that gets to below 10,000 before I start unloading. There, should we go all the way? No, let's go to there because it will take a while for it to start unloading. And I want to I want to keep putting, pumping this stuff through as rapidly as possible. Right, that's slowly filling up. Going all the way up to the top. we got 40,000 in. And it's still going. we got 50. What do we get? we got nearly 60,000 litres of silage that we've put through right there. We're down to 23,000 left in the trailer. I'll drop that down. There we go. We go now. It should put just about everything into the pit. And then I can empty the rest of the pit out. 950 litres left. Right. I'll empty the pit out part way. And then we'll go and we'll load this one up again. And... We'll dump in another lot. We'll get as many trailer loads as we can in today before we need to go worrying about doing the harvest. The harvest we will do tomorrow. We'll get all of that done tomorrow. But if we can get as much silage into here as possible today, then come midnight we will get an absolutely mahoosive cash injection. So that's down to about 10,000 litres right there. So if I go into here... And we go that way. Silage should stay the same all the time. Stays on 600 at all times. So that's not going to change. Eggs at the moment, 5,287 there at the restaurant. 
That's actually a really good price, but we don't have that many eggs available right now. We are very, very limited on eggs, so I will bring the truck in over here, like that. Actually, I don't need to go that tight on it, really. I can just, I can stop right there. Now we jump in here. It's still running, so I just start unloading it like that. And all we have to do is just start inching forwards... We've got to allow for the bit on the very corner. Just make sure that does pick up properly. It does seem to be. Well, sometimes. It does sometimes seem to pick up properly. But what it does is it seems to take everything out of the middle first. And then it does the bits out in the corners at the very end. And that kind of sometimes makes it a little bit awkward for picking everything up. Not that it's making a huge difference. But it, it, it does make a little bit of a difference. Because you, you're inclined to keep pushing forwards with it. And it doesn't always work properly. But, right there, we've already loaded that one up completely. And that's taken just a fraction of the time. So I think that was worth the 15 grand that we paid for it. So we'll bring that one back over there. As soon as I get it lined up, we will start fast forwarding time and tipping at the same time. There we go, like that, and start tipping as well. We'll go forward a little bit. There we go. Right, there's another great big lot that we can dump in. And then as soon as we've gotten this trailer load out, we'll do... I'm going to do this until 7 o'clock, 7, 8 o'clock in the evening, so that we get as much of that silage in as possible. And then um, we'll see what we get at midnight. We'll have another session of it after we've done all the harvest. Most of the harvest is now actually ready to go, look. Let's just tip out the rest of this a second. There, while that's going through, most of it is ready to go. But not all of it. We got the middle of field 11. So we will actually wait until tomorrow before we do it. So it's 1600 at the moment. So yeah, we will, we will wait until tomorrow. We're definitely going to do that because that way we've got everything is all ready to harvest. We can start the small field... I'm not going to do straw, I don't think. I think we will leave the straw bales. It's going to take too long to pick up. We could go and pick some of them up, but I, honestly, I think it's going to end up taking too long to go and pick up all of the bales. Um, plus, baling them in the first place. You know, that, that that's going to take a fair while. Now, where's our great demand at the restaurant? It's not for eggs. So what are you great demanding? You are... Great demanding wheat at twelve hundred dollars per thousand. That's pretty good. That'll be finished by the time we get done. With once our harvest is done, yeah, we, we won't be able to take advantage of that. Never mind. We won't worry about it. And I will bring you. She, you can stop right there. That should be about right. We jump into you and we start unloading silage right there. That one can come in through. So, yeah, I, I like the fact that we've got this one. I would prefer to use the other one because, obviously, this is the sugar beet loader. It's not actually a silage or wood chip loader or anything like that. Um, so, for a bit of authenticity, I would prefer to use the other one. But the sheer amount of time that it would take to load all of this silage using that other one rather than this one... I just don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's something that everybody would want to watch. Um, so, yeah, if, if, if we can speed through this nice and fast. Like, I mean, look at that. We've already loaded up another one. We're down to 660,000 litres in silage pit. Another trailer loaded up here. So, again, we can back that one up. We're 5 o'clock in the evening. I'm thinking that we'll be able to unload all of this one. And we'll be able to get another one going as well. So let's just start that one going a bit faster. And get you unloading as well at the same time like that. Um, I'm thinking maybe one more lorry load after this. Once we empty this trailer out completely. We should have enough left to be able to do one more complete load. Whether or not we actually will is another matter. Because part of what I'm, I, I sort of wait on each time is to empty out the, the whole silage thing once we've dumped in everything that we were carrying. 6,000 litres left. Dump in that. A little bit more. Right. That one's empty. 
So now I can come over this way. We'll worry about this little bit down the side next time, I think. Or maybe we'll do one more load after this. Who knows? Let's, we'll start you loading up. I want to keep an eye on that over there, though. It's going to be difficult to keep an eye on that and keep an eye on this at the same time. But the speed that we're overloading now... All right. I think that's actually got to nearly empty up over there. So if I load all of this one in... There we go. Keep going. And then once I've done this bit, we'll do... We'll try and get one more load into here. I said I'd keep going until 7 o'clock. Or 8... Well, 7 or 8 o'clock. I want to do one more load... Because what I'd actually like to do is I'd like to get that whole strip all the way down through. If I can also clear that bit out, uh, that's going to leave us with a nice, um, clean, tidy um, sidage clamp. Uh, face, is, uh, face of the clamp. If, if the face of the clamp is neat and clean and tidy, it's going to look a lot better. So I'll bring you back over here. Like that. And... Start fast forwarding time again and start unloading you at the same time. And then while that one is unloading, it will fill all the way up. We've got just a minute or two that I can shunt this one around very quickly. Like this. I will bring that one over to there. Right over to this side, like that. There. Bring that up to there and swivel that one out around that side. There we go. Right, now I want to run back over here and hope that I can get all the silage in. Let me tip. Oh yeah, we've got, we actually have been able to do that just fine. So I can tip all of that in. There. Still going, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is still going. Right. So then I will bring this one over. And put it up through here. I want to put some lights on. There, like that. And I'll put you all the way up there like that. There, so hopefully you will unload. And we'll also go and have a look. It's gone 9 o'clock. Hmm. That wasn't quite part of the master plan. I wasn't supposed to go quite that far past um, midnight. Never mind. Never mind. We're doing it now. What's done is done. We can't undo it now. Let me bring that over and swivel it back a little bit. I was just thinking we might struggle to get everything in here, but actually I think that we'll be all right. I think we will be all right because you it's surprising how far you can make this conveyor belt stretch. You bring it all the way out. So let's start overloading again like that. Um, hmm. Okay, maybe, may, maybe we will struggle a little bit with this. I'll bring that all the way out to there. I've got some. No, actually, I think it's going to be all right. Put you all the way back up here, and I think no more capacity. Yep, it's full. It's completely full. Right. So I will bring that one to there. I will stop that one like that. I could have put lights on this. Wow. Okay, that's lit up a Christmas tree now. There. Nighttime silage dumping, except that we've actually finished it all, so oops. We'll turn all those lights off. And we'll go into you. We'll back you up over here and we will get this last little bit of silage tipped out. Let's not swipe our mirrors off on the wall. We don't want to do that. We'll swing you round over this way and get that into place there. Start unloading all of that silage and Actually, yeah, I can go. I can speed up. We've still got two hours of time before midnight. So we ought to be able to get quite a bit of this trailer load in and processed. I'm not going to bother loading up anymore now. We're going to... All I want to do is just get the rest of this trailer load processed and through the plant. It won't get all of it through the plant. I know that we won't get all of it through the plant, but we will get at least all of it into the bunker. We can do that before midnight. I'm hoping we can. The reason I want to do it before midnight is so that we're allowed to go to sleep. Because I don't think it lets you go to sleep after midnight. And it might. Right. There we go. So we'll do that. And I'm going to slow time down now. We'll go back to one time speed. 
I'll shut you off. Turn the lights off. We've got 43,000 litres of silage still in there to process. That's fine. We leave that. Let's run down over here. Grain is ready and ripe in the fields. Up there. Spin around a little bit. And skip the night. Right. We are on midnight. So we want to go... Oh, what should we say? Well, we're nearly midnight. So if we say eight... Let's, let's go for nine hours of sleep. We'll do that. Not three hundred and thirty-six thousand dollars from biogas inputs. That is brilliant. It's fantastic. We've got four hundred and sixty thousand dollars now. We've still got we got a mountain of silage up here that we'll be able to use and we'll be able to still process. Uh, how much we got left? We've got four hundred and eighty thousand. So we we've, we've processed most of it now. Let's say most of it. We have, we've, we've gone past the halfway mark. Let's, let's put it at that. We've gone past the halfway mark. That's all ready to roll. That's ready to roll. And that's ready to roll down there. So what we will do... No, I don't want to use you. I want to go to... I was just thinking we might go to the small ones first. Yes, we will. We will start with you. So first up, we want to get rid of this front loader. So we'll bring that one down over here and we will unload it. I want to just check the animals a second. Right, they're fine. Grass and hay, straw, we could do. You know what we could actually do with putting a bit of straw in for the horses pretty soon. Another thing. How are we doing with it? We got 15% on those. 95, we got some more horses that we need to sell. That's got to be our next thing. That's got to be the next thing we do is we've got to sell these horses. Those right there were the last ones that we brought in. And we've got more horses to sell tomorrow. So we've got four horses that I need to sell first. So uh, we want to go... I'll bring the tractor down. Thinking we ought to get a bale or two and maybe do something with that as well. We'll, de we'll deal with straw for the horses a bit later. We won't worry about that now. And I'll drop you down there like that and... Switch over and we'll put that one there like that. So that one's ready to go and get the trailer on. But before I do that, I think it's this pen. think it is this pen that we want to change people over. Um, so I'm going to go there. We've got 42,057. No, it's not those, is it? It's up on this one. This one up over here. There. 47, yeah, right. So we've got the good gamer, Alex, Tally, Random, Petro, Gracemark. Have been with us for a fair while. It is time to sell them. So we'll move you and you and you and you. So there, the good gamer, Alex, Tally, Rand, and Petro, Gracemark. You've done well here. Confirm. We've now earned $190,000 from selling you. Um... Whether or not you're being melted down into glue is another matter. I'm, I'm not really sure. I don't think you're being turned into glue, but I, I wouldn't like to say either way. I, I, I'm not going to make any promises. But we, we, we certainly wouldn't sell you straight to a, 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 a horse glue merchant. I know that, I know that some might. Mentioning any names. <coughs> duck, duck, duck sorely. <coughs> um, but yeah, uh, we, we, we wouldn't. We, we would never dream of doing such a thing. Um me buy that right i've got four new horses now let me put the names on yeah brempel right is yanak and 1977 rugrat are now valued horses on our farm well there we go folks i'm afraid that's it we've run out of time which means that we need to head on home so if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.